Are you trying to steal my luck now? You wanna go? You wanna, you wanna go? You wanna go? Let's do this. What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the modern ninja. Today we're doing episode two of our basic weapons series. The series where we go through all eight basic weapons. Your hands, your elbows, your knees, and your feet. And I'm gonna be using Steve here to beat up on because he's he's trying to steal my look. So, you know, he deserves it. <laughs> but for real, today we're going over our elbows. If you haven't seen a part one, definitely go check it out. It will be uh, linked down below and linked in the corner and at the end of the video, all those places. So if you need to find it, you'll be able to. Plus you could just, you know, check out my channel and subscribe while you're there. I mean, you will end up liking it, so you definitely should. But as always, you know we gotta run that intro. Everyone and their mother has seen a elbow be thrown at least once in their life. Whether it's at a movie, a UFC match, or just a TV show. You've all seen it happen. But a lot of people don't understand the basics of how to actually throw your elbow to make it actually effective. And so that's what this video is for, breaking down the basics. So first, we're going to examine your elbow. This front part of your elbow is what I call the blade of your elbow. This is going to be your tar your striking surface, your hitting surface. It's solid, no soft points, and it's kind of pointy. It's actually one of the sharpest bones in your body. That meaning it's easy to make your opponent get cut and start bleeding whenever you hit them with an elbow, especially across the face. So when you're practicing, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to Take this part of your elbow and you're gonna to wanna to turn it sideways. Like quite often, do beginners throw their elbow just kinda of like this? And there's a huge issue with that. If you wanna feel the inside of your elbow, it's actually pretty soft in comparison. And it's it, if you press it hard enough, a lot of people have pressure point reactions and pain reactions to pressing that area. So instead of hitting with the side, you wanna make sure you turn your elbow over just like this almost like a chicken wing like when you're doing the chicken dance or whatever you can use that that motion because that puts the front of your elbow forward so that when you swing you hit with the blade and the front bone part of your elbow as opposed to this, which I see so many people do, especially in the beginning of their martial arts training. Next is targeting. Your elbow is going to want to be for breaking bone. So obviously you have the ribs. You can go for a low elbow, just like that. Or you have my favorite target, the hinge of the jaw. Hitting here will allow you to break that person's jaw and it's really hard to fight with a broken jaw. So uh, prime target. So while you're keeping your guard up because always wanting safety first, you can use that back hand rotating with your hips and pushing that elbow forward into that strike. Just nice and easy, bang. It doesn't take a lot of force to break someone's jaw. It really doesn't, especially with an elbow. So just putting your body weight behind it will have an effect. Ain't that right, Bob? It's right. Now that is not the only way to throw an elbow. There are upper elbows as well, aiming for the solar plexus or the chin. For the uppercut elbow, what you wanna do is when you're in your guard, you wanna keep that elbow that you plan to throw in tight. You don't want it to extend because you'll end up hitting with the inside of your arm again. So instead you wanna keep it in tight and draw a line from where your elbow is up their body, just like this. And this, bang is the motion right there. So when you're fighting someone, you can slide in and get right under that chin. But remember, with elbows, especially like this, it opens up your ribs. So if you miss, you are leaving yourself vulnerable to other attacks, especially any rib shots or kidney shots, which hurt a lot. So make sure whenever you're done throwing your elbow, you pull it back, back to your guard always. You never just want to leave your elbow. Even if it's this elbow, you don't want to leave it out there. This one, you don't want to leave it out there because keeping yourself guarded is always important in a fight. 
safety first. Lastly is what I call the jab elbow, which is basically an elbow that goes straight into their target using the back part of the elbow, kind of like a drop elbow or to the side of the head. Either one will work. Now, prime targets for this would be the, obviously the hinge of the jaw, just like before, or my personal favorite, the temple. The temple is a quick knockout or concussion point. So if you're wanting to drop that person as quick as possible, the temple to basically everyone is vulnerable to attack. The third targeting spot would be the collarbone. Doing, dropping the elbow down on the collarbone can quickly break a collarbone. If you ever had your collarbone broken, it's again, another way to end a fight very quickly. You can't throw punches with a broken collarbone. Well, not effectively. So what you're gonna wanna focus on when throwing this elbow is making sure your target is actually far enough away. If you are trying to throw this elbow and you are too close to the opponent, you're gonna end up hitting them with the back of your arm, which is cushiony and muscly, which isn't really that great of a weapon. It doesn't do much pain and it won't break anything for sure. You wanna make sure you're far enough away so that when you strike, you strike with the tip, the end of your elbow, not the meat of your arm. You start with your actual elbow. And this will allow you to pierce your opponent's bones, your their ribs, their uh, jaw, that whatever your target is, allow it to pierce that and actually do damage as opposed to just kind of hit them in the chest with the back of your arm and make them a little more mad. And one more time, always remember to breathe out whenever you strike because no one likes getting the wind knocked out of you, and especially during this technique, you open up your torso. Your torso is vulnerable. So breathe out so that if you do get hit, you don't get the wind knocked out of you and you can stay in the fight for longer. I could do this all day. Guys, I hope you found this video somewhat helpful. And if you want to learn more about elbows, let me know down in the comments. But make sure you subscribe if you want to see the next episode because we're covering knees next, which are always fun to use. And if you haven't yet, make sure to go back and watch the first episode about punches because punches are the most common thing to be thrown in a fight by far. So definitely learn how to do that. Ooh, that mask is uh, a little high on you. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore. His name is Steve. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Bye.